So I wanted to show my friends on Facebook the new fence. Now this is the poles, posts that are painted white. This is my yard fence, you know. Um, obviously my needs to be mowed, both of my lawnmowers. <laughs> they screwed up recently in the shop. But here's uh, the beginning of the livestock area, and the barn's gonna go over there. I don't know if you can see it with the GoPro or not. And it goes all the way down to the railroad property, which then leads to a cliff. The railroad owns this cliff that is very pretty steep. And it's kind of cool. I wish I owned that property, but maybe someday. But yeah, the goats are going to have a lot to eat over here. Some spare fencing. Now I'm going to walk through my back gate. open since the fence was completed and the dogs can play in this area too. I don't know if it shows up in the video or not but the fence also connects to that other end of the uh, yard fence and it goes all the way around here. There's the pig trap over there that I'm going to move. So anyway, the uh, where I think the spring is, the artesian spring is Coming up here in the bend of my little trail. It's about right about there, but I'm gonna go through the trail, go outside the, the one livestock gate, and then look at it. But if you look at the ground here, it's it's perfectly dry. It's not muddy here at all. Even though it's been raining a lot, usually, especially with the sugar sand and stuff, it drains and dries out really fast. And it hasn't rained in like two days now. You know, perfectly dry. So here's some more of the fencing. And there's the old fence behind it that was built like 60 years ago or something. And there's my blue livestock gate. I decided to make all my house gates red and my livestock gates that face outward blue. So as you can see, it's already turning muddy here. So I'm going to open it up. fitted perfectly but I like it because you know if the animals push against it real hard it's mainly mostly gonna be against the post and now I got mud all over myself somehow. So this is the muddy area. You see the, the base of the hill here, it's really dry. This is part of the uh, carnage from the logging. So most of it's real dry. And then right here, inexplicably, it's wet. And let's see if I can find oh man, just pure mud here. It makes no sense. I mean just saturated wet. We're on a hill, it slopes downward. And 
don't see if the water is still running. It's kind of stagnant at the moment. You can kind of see source is right over there where I pointed earlier in the video. And what's funny, as soon as we get past it, this one section, it dries up completely. See, look at all this streaming, streaming, streaming. Absolutely saturated over there. Now, just tons of water just there for no reason. And this was the, where we couldn't 100% finish the fence because water kept filling up in the, the post hole. So I, I'm not 100% sure, but it would appear like right there is maybe an artesian spring. I don't know. I, I gotta let the, the dry out a little bit more with no rain. But literally yesterday you could just see the water continue to pour out of here and also what's weird is it almost looks like it's got look at how deep that is. It almost looks like sap or oil on the top of it too. We didn't kill that many trees over here to warrant. Hey there's a rabbit. <laughs> but yeah look it's just all wet right there. So I'm going to have to clear out all those branches and see what's going on in here. Because to me, this might be the source of the water, perhaps. I mean, on the other hand, maybe it's just the water's just trapped there. But if it was trapped, why is it seeping like this? Because there's no more water falling. So why would it continue to have a little lake there? Like I said, it's only that one spot. We go back to the rest of the trail. Get past this little hump over here. Dries out pretty much immediately here. Dry as a bone. No problems. There's some spare. I got a lot of cleanup to do in, inside the livestock area as well. Anyway, that's the story.